Okay. I know I don't really do a lot of talking on this channel, but let's talk about the, the Flynn bill, the one that I uploaded a couple of days ago. Let, let, let's speak on that. Okay. So, first of all, let me get this off because I was doing a test and we going to redo it but so I can show y'all. But for right now, let's just get this back to pure physical. So anyway, like I said, this is a flame, but if you never played Dark Souls 2 or 3, then I'm finna explain what a flame build does. For the people who didn't play them and they know what it does, you know, feel free to add in anything that I miss. So a flame build, first off, is built with curved swords. Now, it, okay, I understand that I got this axe, but this is my opinion. I think curved swords are way better for flame bills because in Dark Souls 3, you can fucking melt PvE and PvP. But anyway, a flame bill is basically just, you know, having a glass cannon, a character with light weight. So as you see, which I'm not done with this character, I'm going to take him about 90. But as you see, only thing I have on is a chest piece. That's it. And the only reason I got that chest piece on is that particular chest piece is because it gives me uh, that jumping attack boost. And I do a lot of jumping attacks. Plus, you see, I got the claw mark on. You see the axe talisman. The reason why I'm giving doing the axe talisman is because of this. This weapon has that fucking crazy chase down as an R2. And it counts as a charged attack. Then we got the blue dancer's charm, which is aka the flame ring so you see my damage 413 take that off 379 but like I was saying it's better with curry swords because curry swords are, are I think the curry swords in this game are like three a piece I believe and then this axe is six so you can have two curry swords and then take this off and put this on or if you was going you know take it even higher you can get the rotten one with the millicent you know and, and so and so forth you know but it, you know once again that's my opinion i, I think the curry swords are better i just wanted to do an axe just for the fucking hell of it because i i didn't really run axes in three i ran the cell swords all the time because it was just so fucking nasty and they had this uh what was it l1 to what was it l1 to l2 to L1 and it was L1 to L2 to L2 yeah that was it and man it was who we <laughs> the damage man that you can get from it but yeah this is this is what I a flim bill man well in this game let's call it blue dancer charm bill you know lightweight you very light you know the, the chest piece don't matter like I said I just put it on because it give you better jumping attack but the more you have equipped, the lower your damage is going to be. So check this out. You see my damage going down, right? Look at that. I just throw something on. My damage went down to 386. Let's take all this off. I went up to 430. I put this on. I'm down to 413. Man, this is shit. Now I've seen it. Man, I might want to take that off. Oh no. Wait a minute. You caught me with something. 421. I might leave it like this. I still leave that on though. Leave that on. Because I do a lot. Of... Eh. Mm. I don't know. I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking it through. I do not know just yet. But I will come back with a finished bill sometime later. But right now, I'm just testing stuff. But anyway, let's get to this. A flint build is better pure physical. Even in Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3, it was better pure physical. So, let me show you. So, let's say we take the claw mark off, put on the fire scorpion charm, right? Actually, you know what? Let's test this first. 
We're not even gonna do a jumping attack though. But we're gonna use the tree sentinel as a test subject. Let's do a charge R2. How about that? And then we'll switch over to fire and do a charged R2. Let's see. Six twelve. Now this is an early game enemy, so don't expect to be doing a shit ton of damage to other bosses if your shit if your weapons are not upgraded. This is only a plus thirteen, so Okay. So now let's switch it over to fire. We'll do fire there and we'll put on the charm. Fire Scorpion Chum. Let's see. We got 613 on the pure physical. Let's see what we get on this. Come on. I ain't get to see that. Hold on. I ain't get to see what that was. 495. So, yeah, you see, you see there, this <laughs> is, man, this way better pure physical. Well, let me get him reset real quick. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Let's switch that back over. So anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, pure physical is going to be better. If you are going to run one of these builds, once again, I highly suggest this uh, curved swords. Like you can start, I started out as a hero, but I think the best thing to do a flint build would be to start out as a warrior, because he come with two scimitars. And I mean, man, they just, it would be better maybe I'll try to grab two scimitars and make them heavy. They they won't be as powerful as deck scimitar. Cause that, I mean, it's what a scimitar is. It's his dex weapon. But I could, you know, I could make them heavy on here. But it'd be better dex. And man, it the damage should be good. Once again, you know, Blue Dancer's Charm. Put that on wing insignia. If you go farther, like I said, get the riding wing with the Millicent. And that, man, it'll be fucking shredding. The only thing is you have no absorption. You are a glass cannon. That's the whole point of the blue charm flim bill. Is that you do a lot of damage, but you also take a lot of damage. So you need to be more worried about, you know, getting hits off and getting out of there. Get a hit off, get out of there. Get a combo off, get out of there. Not just sitting there and spam R1. You know, or, or L1. You're not finna do that with a flim bill. The damage is gonna be good enough to where you can get in there, shred somebody, and get out. Especially if you're fighting a gang. You don't wanna just sit in there, fucking R1, 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 and, and fucking charge. Or, no, man. You get in there, get your hits, get the hell out of there. Simple as that. Get the hell out of there. Simple as that. So, I don't know, man. I might, I might take this character to 90. Then again, I might just start it a whole new character for it. That way, I could actually use the the scimitars. Cause, like, like I said, look at the weight on this. This weight on this thing is six. I mean, don't get me wrong. It go, it, it it'll go on a flim bill, but I, I, I think. The scimitars would be better. I could be wrong. You know, I, I just, you know, from playing Dark Souls 3, I mean, the scimitar, the cell swords in that game, you know, that's that what they was called. Cell swords is actually two scimitars, but it's called cell swords. And it, man, a, a combo would take, if, if not kill, if not kill, it would take them down so far that they have like a piece of health look where you could like probably just hit R1 and kill them if you could catch them. 
that's it. You know. But man, that, that's about it for the Flynn Bill. Like I say, I got a few things I want to change up. I don't know if I want to do another character because it's actually pretty fucking good. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I I do feel like the uh curved swords would be a lot better. And Warrior starts out with two. Some of the best. The scimitars will always be the some of the best curved swords you can fucking use in any Souls game. The scimitars has always been good. It's always been light and good. So, you know, and once again, matter of fact, let's let's go check that before I end this video. Let's go check that. See how, just how light they are. Because I believe two scimitars would be the same as this axe. This one axe. And don't say nothing about dual wielding no damn axes. You know dual wielding axes in this game really ain't all that good. You know that. And let me explain why. Hold on. Oh, I already got the damn scimitar. I had any inventory. Three point. There you go. It's three point. So two of these is the same as his axe. Or you can use the well the rapiers. Look at the rapiers. 2.5. You can use them. Let's see about the 3.5. Eh, for the straight source. Eh. Of course you can use daggers. I mean, come on now. To use daggers. Um, that's, that's really about it. That's all I would say. I would say you can use mainly, I highly suggest scimitars. Uh, rapiers would be good as well. I love the rapiers. I love their moon set. Uh, straight swords, yeah. Yeah, straight swords, yeah, and daggers. Now, let me explain why, why I would prefer the scimitars. The scimitars also, not only are they light, but if you notice, they hit at the same time. Okay? So, let me get out of here because I got two scimitars. Actually, let me buy these rapiers real quick. Well, let me buy one rapier. One straight sword. We'll buy this dagger as well. We'll buy this... I think I already got an axe. I still buy it just in case I don't. Uh, we'll get that. We'll get that as well. Just for the hell of it. So I can show you uh, what I'm talking about. Pretty sure I got uh, other straight. If I don't, I know where to get another straight sword. So, anyway. So, let me go on my chest real quick. Cause I know I got another curved sword. Let me show you what I'm talking about, man. So Y'all can get this. Uh, yeah, I got another straight sword. And I go a scimitar. Grab another scimitar. Grab. Let's just. I don't think I got another spirit beside. It. I think that's that's a war spirit. So that's a gray spirit. So it wouldn't be the same. And. Hmm. But anyway, we can pull out another dagger. Alright, anyway. So, here's the deal with the axes. Look at this. Oh, crap. There we go. Look at this. That is not hitting at the same time. Actually, it's too slow to even hit at the same time. But look at this. That hits at the same time. And why am I talking about hitting at the same time? Because of this. This right here. Or the, the riding wing one with Millicent's. It, it activates that shit quick. So you get your damage quick. The straight swords do it as well. Let's put the straight swords on. They hit at the same time. Look at that. It's going to activate that shit quick as hell. Okay. Let's look at the daggers. Well, the daggers don't hit at the same time. Okay, the daggers are fast enough in this game to where you can actually get that off and still hit, hit them. Even though they don't hit at the same time, they fast enough to where 
they gonna pro it's gonna get that shit it's gonna get this going same thing go with the spears the spears hit at the same time when you press l1 the rapiers are man come on bro the rapiers fast as hell i mean i don't i don't have another rapier but if i had another rapier i could show you man like the rapiers they don't hit at the same time but they they so fast it's like hitting at the same damn time so yeah it's to me to me i, I always choose the, the, the scimitars and, and stuff because they light uh with the curved swords they light and they hit at the same time to activate this shit. it activates it quick as matter of fact let's do a little test watch how fast this activates And then we'll do the straight swords next. I want, I want to show you. Look at that shit. That damn fast. One running attack activated. Okay, let's run back. Actually, let's see what a L1 do. Two L1s. Activated that shit fast. Now in PvP, when you hit somebody with these motherfuckers, when you hit L1, you gonna hit them with both of them swords. You gonna hit them. But the axes, I promise you, you probably not gonna get both of those hits off. You might get one hit off. But you probably not finna get both of them off. Look at that slow ass shit. Let's go test it out. That's why I only use one axe on it. Let's test it out though. Look how slow that shit is, man. Hell, I could have been ahead probably about four hits with the sail swords. Well, with me with the curved swords. But I mean, you see, of course, I'm taking a lot of damage because once again, I'm a flim build, and it's an early game, boss. We. There we go. But you know, for today, just gonna wrap it up for the flim build. Uh, I don't know, man. I might do another character. I re I really don't know. Start off as a. Uh, a warrior so I could have them dual scimitars but you know I just wanted to explain to the new people you know what I meant in that video by flim bill blue dancers charm the flim ring and the blue dancers charm are basically the same thing you know for the veterans and you know the, the big PvP players they know how deadly a flim bill was in Dark Souls 3 it was deadly as hell it's just you couldn't take a lot of damage you know you had to get in and get out but the the, the trade-off was was wonderful man the damage was ridiculous but <sighs> that wraps it up just wanted to explain that don't forget to like and subscribe see y'all